I would like our student council president, Sophie Dugas, and our vice president, Cooper Fowler, to come on up, come on up and read a special announce, uh, message to our veterans. I would like to use this time to talk about the importance of veterans. To me, veterans are people that we couldn't live without. They are so brave, courageous, and loyal to our country. They make it possible, possible for America to have freedom, and we should all be grateful for that. The dedication that all so soldiers show is truly heroic, and it makes me feel lucky that we have such great men and women among us. I am proud and honored to be able to have you all with us right now. For your bravery, hard, hard work, and dedication to our country, we thank you. America must never forget your sacrifice. You all should really be proud of yourselves for everything you've done. One of my major accomplishments in life would be to be like you. It's very nice from the kindness of your heart you chose to do this. I want you to look at your family and how proud they are. That's why you should be proud of yourselves too. Okay. Our next part of the program is Mrs. Gilchrist will lead us in saying this land is your land. students directly related to these two veterans here to stand up and just wave to the crowd. So the first veteran we would like to recognize today is, oh, I have him on the wrong page, good for me. We have Lawrence Carabas. Oh, they flipped the page. Ah, I'm sorry. Let me see yours. Right. First one we would like to recognize is Lawrence Harris, Joseph Luco, George Cameron, and Paul Polgry members of uh, the table. All right. Okay, I'm sorry. They belonged. Uh, let's start with James Law. There we go. I found that one. James Law, who is related to Soraya Law and Ava Taylor and Miss Kralix and Miss Laura Sales class, who has served in the United States Army from 2019 to 2017, Sergeant Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, 2011. Lawrence Harris being recognized by Emery Karen in Mrs. Laura Shell's uh, class, United States Army and Navy. Lawrence Harris served in World War II and received the Purple Heart for his tour in the Army. Felicia Alonzo, related to Tyler Palmer, who was in Ms. Colton's class, a member of the United States Army. Tyler's grandfather, Feliciano, retired as a Master Chief in the U.S. Navy, having served over 20 years on the USS Barracuda, USS Wahoo, and other U.S. Naval submarines. He is also a veteran of the Vietnam War. Joseph Morahan. Oh, hold on. Joseph Kavatsky. Okay. Related to Christian Kavatsky, a member of Ms. Juster's class, part of the United States Marine Corps, 1997 to 2004. Donald E. Golden II and III, 
related to Nathaniel Romano and Mrs. La Rochelle's class, a member of the United States Army and United States Coast Guard. Nathaniel's grandfather served in the USCG and his uncle in the U.S. Army. His grandfather passed last year from service-related injury, and his uncle, ORF, OIF veteran, resides in Florida. Joseph Morahan, related to Keegan Fitzpatrick and Ms. Kashigan's class, a member of a serving in the United States Army during the Korean War. Bruce Harrison, related to Kylie Harrison in Mr. Rose class, served in the United States Army, served a total of 22 years in the reserve and active duty, flew Apache attack helicopters in Bosnia, Korea, Afghanistan, and Iraq. Decorations, uh, decorations include Air Medal with Valor Device, Air Medal, Senior Aviation Badge, and Combat Action Badge. Michael Chandler, related to Riley Chandler in Mrs. Jake's class, served in the United States Army active duty 2002 to 2007. Bruce Harrison, there you are. All Harry did was it. Here we go. William Enos, re uh, related to Roman Enos in Miss Colton's class, a member of the United States Army. Active duty 2005 to current, part of Operation Iraqi Freedom from 2005 to 2006, and again 2008 to 2009. Currently in Operation Atlantic Resolve, stationed in Georgia. Charles Haynes, related to Alexandra Stanton and Miss Free Course class, that served in the United States Navy, served from February 1962 until June 1965, and is a veteran, a uh, Vietnam veteran. He received a, a certificate of recognition for his service during the period of the Cold War. He was also involved in the Cuban crisis. Charles was also the lightweight boxing champion for his home port Navy base. Let's have a round of applause for all our veterans that can be here today. So our next veterans are all of those that can be with us today. So when I say the name, What's going to happen is the veteran is going to stand up with their Matthew Thornton student, and we're going to do about four at a time. And after the four, um, you guys can sit down, and then we'll do another group of four as well. The first member we would like to recognize is Michael McClellan. Did he end up showing up today? Yes, not. So here's another one that we would like to recognize that could not show up today. So let's give our round of applause for Michael McClellan. All right, now we're cooking with guests because I know he is here. Matt Hotchkiss. I don't know how this goes. There we go. Related to Ben Hotchkiss, a member of Ms. Keshegan's class, served in the United States Army. Sergeant First Class Hotchkiss served in the Army for 23 years as combat engineer. He served multiple tours in the Middle East and retired in 2013. Thomas Shovlin, related to William and Wynne Shovlin in Ms. Kearney's and Ms. Lasser's class, United States Army. Six years in Pennsylvania and Massachusetts Army National Guard. Thank you for your patience. Eric Marsh. Uh, related to Jackson Brizuela in Miss Allen's room, United States Army. 24 retired Army Sergeant as a combat and construction engineer, served in uh, Desert Shield and Desert Storm, foreign tours in Central America, Canada, and Europe. Let's give a round of applause to Eric and Matt. Thank you. Miles for that. Related to Aiden Fredette and Ms. Keshegan's class, United States Army. Miles Fredette served 12 years in the Army in both active duty and reserves as a combat engineer. He completed basic training in Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, and he served orders for Fort Stewart, Georgia for five years. After five years active duty, he served as an NCO in a reserve unit in London, New Hampshire. He served two combat tours in Iraq, in Operation Iraqi Freedom, as well as Brian Latour, related to Karen and Charlotte Latour, 
and Mrs. Dussault and Ms. Frank Kors, class member of the United States Army. Brian served from 1993 to 2002 and achieved the electrician's mate first class. He served in the USS George Washington during three cruises to the Mediterranean and Middle East. Nathaniel Plaza related to Megan Plaza and Mrs. Memelo's room. United States Navy from 1957 to 1961. Henry Nader related to Ava Leahy and Mrs. Reed's uh, class, United States Air Force. Served eight years of active duty in the U.S. Air Force during the Vietnam War. Served one tour in Thailand providing air support for the war. Did four years of active reserves as well as one as an E-7, which was a tech sergeant. His position was a crew chief for the jet fighters. Thank you all for your service. <laughs> Next veteran we would like to recognize is Natasha Duran, related to Zoe Duran, Bella, and Orr Moulton in Ms. Jester's class and Ms. Reed's class, United States Air Force, served in Operation Enduring Freedom from 2004 to 2006, now retired from service. Tom Burton, related to Tucker and Penny Burton and Ms. Frank Kors and, Mr., uh, and Mrs. La Rochelle's class, United States Navy, Fire uh, Control Second Class Petty Officer Enlisted Service Warfare Specialist. 2001 to 2007, three deployments to Persian Gulf in 2003, 2004, and 2006. Captain Jonathan Smith, Related to Everett and Caroline Smith in Miss Farnell's and Miss Laura Shell's class, part of the United States Army. Captain Smith commissioned from West Point in 2008 as a field artillery officer and served in active duty for 10 years. During his 10 year period, he deployed to Operation Enduring Freedom, held countless leadership positions, and taught military science at the collegiate level. In 2018, Captain Smith transferred his commission to the Massachusetts Army National Guard. Jerry Swanson, related to Molly and Connor Kerrigan and Mr. Quimby and Mrs. Reed's class, served in the United States Air Force. Military Peace guarded B-52 bombers that were once used in Vietnam. He was in the service for two years, rank, airman, first class. Thank you for your service. Paul Doherty, related to Hadley Doherty, who is in Mrs. Allard's class and served in the United States Air Force. Air Force 6910 Security Group, served in Augsburg, Germany from 1971 to 1974. Jack Rapucci, related to Sam Rapucci, Miss Kashikin's class, who served in the United States Navy. Served in the U.S. Navy from 1959 to 1963 as a submarine sorterman on the USS Granada, stationed in Key West, Florida. He participated in the blockade during the Cuban Missile Crisis, as well as the aftermath that followed while at the base at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, from October 1962 through May 1963. Stephanie Lopez, related to Aidan Brulette and Mrs. Roseroom, serves in the United States Army. Logistics Specialist Second Class has served four years active in six reserve. Joseph Ferraro, related to Addison and Grayson Demas and Ms. Kralix and Mrs. Lasurs, serves in the United States Navy, uh, Riviera Introduction Division 41, Vietnam, Bronze Star, Purple Heart. Thank you all for your service. John Miles, related to Sean Conroy in Mrs. Kearney's class, United States Air Force, uh, E-4, five years of service. Warren Sangston, related to Drew Dombrowski, Ms. Forziati's class, United States Air Force, service from 1966 to 1970, was stationed in Germany with tours in Libya, Italy, and Turkey. John Michatella, related to Penny Michatella and Mrs. Maloney's class, United States Navy. John served 12 years in the Navy, six years enlisted as a nuclear field electrician, and six years as a submarine officer. He was stationed in Charleston, South Carolina, Boston, Spain, New York, and Bangor, Washington. 
Most re recently, he served as a communications officer aboard the USS Pennsylvania in Bangor, Washington, and left service as a lieutenant. Earl Emery related to Andrew Emery and Mrs. Nultzplatz served in the United States Army. Captain Earl Emery entered the service in 1965 and, and served in both the Army Intelligence Branch and the Corps of Engineers until 1973. He had many different assignments, taking him to Germany, Panama, Columbia, Fort Dix, New Jersey, Fort uh, California, Massachusetts, and Virginia. His favorite assignment was working on plans for a sea level canal to go through the country of Colombia. Thank you all for your service. We would like to recognize William Lewis, related to Nora and Levi Prue and Miss Kashikins in his Columbia's class, United States Army, served in the Vietnam War from 1968 to 1971. Scott Dow, related to Dana Dow and Mrs. Jake's class, United States Marine Corps, E-5 Sergeant from 1996 to 2002, many deployments including Iraq, Africa, South America, and Europe. Joseph Wall III, related to Emma Cabarlas and Mrs. Reed's class, United States Navy, six years of service, rank engineer third class, SEALs class. Or Parsons Marcioni, related to Jillian Parsons and Ms. Allard's class, United States Air Force. Four and a half years of service, including a tour in Kuwait, was ranked as a senior airman and received the award of the airman below the zone. Thank you all for your service. Scott Christensen, related to Taylor Christensen and Mrs. Rose Class, United States Marine Corps. Scott listed in the United States Marine Corps Reserves in 1997. He was activated under Operation Enduring Freedom in response to the World Trade Center and Pentagon attacks. He was deployed to Okinawa, Japan in the Philippines and signed to the Joint Special Operations Task Force Kipolins in Zimbabwe City, Madano, upon returning to the USA. He was honorably discharged in 2004. Rich Hilliard, related to Brian and James Hilliard and Ms. Lesseurs and Mrs. Murphy's class, member of the United States Army, completed a rigorous military training regimen including the U.S. Air Force Pararescue and Doctrine Course, U.S. Army Basic Parachutist Military Free Fall Parachutist Courses, um, also U.S. Army Combat Diver Qualification Course, U.S. Air Force Survivor School, Paramedic certification in U.S. Air Force Para Rescue Ground Medical Air Operations, in addition to weapon and tactics courses during his two-year training. Joseph Smith, related to Malia and Marcella Smith and Ms. Justers and Ms. Memolos, serves in the United States Navy. Served honorably from 2000, August 2000 to September 2006. Awarded Navy and Marine Corps Achievement. Navy Good Conduct and Navy Defense Service Medals, highest rank achieved E-5 Petty Officer Second Class. Molly Way, uh, Way Washington, related to Addie and Caden Washington and Ms. Colton, Ms. Records Class, United States Army. U.S. Army Sergeant 1998 to 2006, 95 Bravo Military Peace Officer, South Korea OIF and OEF, Operation Iraqi Freedom and Enduring Freedom. Thank you all for your service. <laughs> Frank Torrey, related to Dylan Torrey Moody, and this is Slosa's class. Uh, served in the Army, Vietnam War 1966 to 1967, 100 Air Force Company, and A First 327th Infantry. Robert Perry, related to Caleb and Macy Hand, Ms. Allard's and Ms. Colton's class, in the, served in the Army and Navy. Served in two branches of the military, U.S. Navy and U.S. Army Paratrooper until 1973. Served in Vietnam from 1969 to 1970. Assigned to a river patrol boat unit located in South Vietnam. Awarded them a National Defense Medal, Vietnam Service Medal, Army Accommodation Medal, and para, uh, Paratroop Jump Wings. And one uh, 
that turned to be like late breaking news. Ken Amoni, related to uh, Gianna Amoni in Ms. Crayler class, a member of the Air Force, 20 years of service from 1994 to 2014. Thank you for your service. I would like for all our veterans and all our students to stand up right now. No, not kiddos. Not kiddos. You can stay. Kiddos, you can stay seated. I would like a big round of applause for all our veterans today. Thank you, veterans. You will be seated. So this brings to close our uh, Veterans Day ceremony. I just want to take this moment to thank you for everyone and their patience as my sheets were a little dismantled. Um, I also want to thank you, Matthew Thor Thornton Learners, for being an awesome, awesome audience today. And I want all you Matthew Learners to remember on Monday, why do we have the day off? Who can raise their hand and tell me why we have the day off on Monday? Emma, since you're right here. Because it's Veterans Day and we want to respect them. I could not give a better answer myself. So as you go through this weekend and you're out and about, and if you see a veteran, thank a veteran. Mrs. Gilchrist will lead us in our closing song. <laughs> 